bread, soft white, and it tastes all right. Put it in the toaster though, and it hardens, turning golden brown and delicious. But how does this happen? Let's find out. Inside the toaster, the bread is exposed to a considerable amount of dry heat, which removes its moisture. As a result, its elasticity disappears, and it hardens. The colour and flavour change in the bread is due to the Maillard reaction, which is a complex set of chemical reactions between carbohydrates and the amino acids of proteins that occurs between 110 and 170 degrees Celsius. For the Maillard reaction to proceed, the carbohydrates must be in the form of a reducing sugar, which means they need to have a free aldehyde or ketone group. This group reacts with the nucleophilic amino group of the amino acids, producing an N-substituted glycosylamine, which rearranges forming ketosamines. The ketosamines undergo many different reactions, producing a vast array of compounds. Some of these make the bread taste good, such as this furanone. Other compounds, such as the melanoidins, absorb light with wavelengths around 405 nanometers and reflect all other visible light, which combines to form the golden brown colour that we see. The Maillard reaction doesn't just occur when toasting bread. It is responsible for the flavours in many foods, including cooked meats, roasted coffee, toasted marshmallows, cookies and hot chips. Therefore, wouldn't it be great if we made the Maillard reaction more efficient? In an alkaline environment, the amino groups are deprotonated and therefore more nucleophilic, which speeds up the Maillard reaction. In Germany, this is achieved by immersing bread rolls in a lye solution before baking. In fact, if you've ever had pretzels, you've tasted the deliciousness resulting from an accelerated Maillard reaction. Now next time you're browning onions, add a small pinch of baking soda and some salt to the fry pan. The baking soda will increase the pH of the onions and therefore accelerate the Maillard reaction, making them brown faster. That's all for today, but if you've got a topic you'd like covered in future episodes, don't forget to let me know in the comments.